Well, hello, folks, and welcome. You got me and BTA here. Hey, everybody. And we are going to be drunk murder solvers. Maybe just a little. <laughs> <laughs> so basically, we're going to play together her story. I got a copy of the, this game. I thought it'd be more fun to play with somebody else to kind of like watch the footage and all that stuff and figure out a murder together. And I had just heard about this game recently. But did you know anything about this game? I had never heard about this game until you asked me to play it with you. So I'd only heard about it recently. And let me give you the brief synopsis of what this is. It says, Her Story is the new video game from Sam Barlow, creator of Silent Hill, Shattered Memories, and Isle. A crime fiction game with non-linear storytelling. Her story revolves around a police database full of live action video footage. It stars Viva Selfert, actress, and one half of the band Joe Gideon in the Shark. Her story development was made possible using it was indie sources, blah, blah, blah. Um, how does it work? Her story grants players access to a police database of archived video footage that covers seven interviews from 1994 in which a British woman is interviewed by detectives about her missing husband. Players take on the role the person set before a police computer terminal, their own computer or device playing the part of the fictional computer. They type search queries in the database, returning clips of the answers where the woman speaks these words. So basically, this woman was interviewed seven times because her husband went missing and later was found out to be murdered. And s some point of this game, we have to use this police database that only can let us type in search terms and it will pull up different interview clips where she speaks the words of the search term that we put in to piece together the puzzle. Okay, so not only have I been drinking, but before this, I was watching Making a Murderer. So, I'm uh, so I just binge-watched Making a Murderer last weekend. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, and there's nothing better than, like, you know, your backseat driving a murder investigation, right? <laughs> Absolutely. Especially when you've been drinking. Let's do this. Hold on, let me take a swig of my beer and we'll get started. All right. Take a swig of Okay. Beer. Her story. So I know a little bit about this interface and what it is, but from what I understand, like the only way to search for videos in this is you literally have to type in a search term and it's only if she speaks those words that you say, it'll show you clips. You can't just watch the interviews. Okay. So this isn't like one hour long video. This is broken up into clips. It's broken up into clips taken from seven different interviews. Okay. And I don't know if the point of this game is the fact that she's a suspect or if she was just being interviewed. I have absolutely no idea. But I do know. Let's find out if this bitch committed murder. Wait, that sounds provoking. Let's find out if this bitch did a homicide. How's that? Perfect. Much better. Um, so basically, the screen starts. You can see the screen fine, right? Yep, I can see everything. Okay. So the screen starts here. It says, I'm an authorized guest. I'm a, I'm a guest who's going to go through, like, your murder footage, I guess. Um, murder is already typed in as a search term, probably to get us started. So I guess we should search that. Yeah, it seems legit. So there's four clips that she says murder. Um, let's do this one. You think it's murder? Clearly it's murder. What can I do to help? So she said, you think it's murder. And then she said, clearly it's murder. She said that while looking to her left. Does that mean somebody's lying? I can't remember what's left. I think left does mean that according to certain psychologists. <laughs> so should we, should we uh, peg her as the murderer right now? <laughs> she looked to the left. She's the murderer. Obviously. No. Um. It looks like I can put in user tags. I don't know what to tag this other than murder that it's already tagged as. Well, so let's check out the next clip. This is 12 seconds. Must be a different day. Oh, I didn't pay attention to the time. That's me. But February, that was months ago. What's that got to do with Simon's murder? Uh, her in February. What was this? Taking this was January of 94. 
is when this clip was. Can you hear the sound okay? I can. So this was February of 93 that she's talking about? It, at 93 or previous to that, I have no idea, but well, at least prior to 94. Ago, years ago. So. Oh, that's true. True. So yeah, it must be February 93. She's seen somewhere. And... and but wait a minute, she has a British accent. So are we looking at this with American dates or British dates? Uh, I believe British dates because it's a British thing. Let's go to this. So it's... Oh, so it could be... You're right, it could be um, July 7 to 1. So July 1st? Mm-hmm. Ooh, that's a, good, that's a good call. Let's find out here on this next clip is... Well, 3-7, that doesn't help us too much either. But this is July 3rd. Wait, July... 1 July 3rd. I would bet you it's British dates and that these are interviews conducted in July. Okay. I would bet. I didn't murder Simon. You've got it wrong. You've got the wrong person. Okay, who's Simon? Is Simon, Is Simon the husband? The husband, yeah. I'm going to write down the name Simon because I don't know. I just know it's her husband that went missing. I didn't know his name was Simon. She proclaimed her innocence, though. Should we believe her? I think we I need to know. see more. I'd like to speak to a lawyer now. Please. You have no murder weapon. You have nothing. And all these stories we've been telling each other. Just that. Stories. Sto Wait. Story? Was she telling stories about murder in an interview? <laughs> um, I don't... So, wait, she she asked for a lawyer now, though. This is 12.05 in that same day as the previous clip. What was this time? 11.28. So, at 11.28, she says she didn't murder him. And then at 12.05, she's like, give me a lawyer. So, what happened in those, you know, 30 some I, odd minutes in between? I don't know. Let's... Uh, I'm going to search for Simon, because that's her... The name she threw out? Let's see if Simon's in it. 61 entries were limited to the first five. They're all from the same interview. Um, who's Simon? Simon. Simon Smith. Well, that was easy. He works at Ernst Brothers Glass. They do windows, all kinds of glass. Simon does the more special work. Mirror making, feature windows, artistic things. Really beautiful things. So, so Simon's a glass worker. Um, mm -hmm. Glass. I'm going to put a tag in his glass. <laughs> Slash husband. <Yeah. laughs> I, 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 you know, she hasn't said Simon's her husband yet. That's so I'm not, I don't want to jump to the conclusion that, oh, you know what? They must be British dates because it's essay 18 6. Oh, yeah. Okay. So we're talking about June 18th. Yeah. Um, Simon is six foot, darkish blonde hair, average build. He's clean shaven. If his beard grows, it goes ginger, so he shaves it. I mean, not that there's anything wrong with ginger hair. Uh, I bought a photo. They said a spring photo. This was taken last year on holiday in Rome. It's the best one I have. Can I see it? <laughs> yeah, where's that photo? <laughs> I'm going to put a in photo. In Rome, did she say? In, yeah, I think in, in Rome, or did she say Brome? Um, Simon is six foot. This was taken last year on holiday. In Rome, yeah. yeah. I've got a little bubble actually blocking the uh, the subtitles, so. Oh, that makes it more difficult. <laughs> a little bit, but you can see them, so we're good. Let's see. So this is another one about Simon. It's the Rockington Arms, The Rock. It's run by a nice couple, Peter and Susan. There's some other regulars there that Simon likes to drink with. And the barmaid they're having sometimes, Helen. Peter said Simon had been in and had a few drinks. So the Rockington Arms? Right. And she called it The Rock? And yeah. talked about the barmaid? The Rock Barmaid. Helen, right? Was it Helen? I think it was Helen. Yeah. So I don't know what that means, but... Yes. There's an Amstrad one. Amstrad. No one uses it for very much. There's a printer, so you can write letters on it. Simon sometimes plays games. Yeah, trying to uh, save the princess. That kind of thing. What's an Amstrad? 
I was going to ask you that as well. I have absolutely no idea, but an Amstrad, apparently it's something that, like, you play games with? I don't know. I'm confused on that clip. I don't know. Simon isn't the type to run off or do anything crazy. Someone must have done something to him, or there must have been some kind of accident. So what do we do next? So... So this was in June. The previous ones we watched were in July, right? Right. So I wonder if at this point, because I know the premise of the, it's seven interviews over the course of when this woman's husband was missing to when they found out he was murdered. Mm -hmm. So I wonder if this is like previous to him being known to be murdered. So at this point, they're trying to figure out if he's just disappeared or I I mean possibly the way she says something in this clip like he wouldn't run off or do anything crazy to run off or do anything crazy someone must have done something to him or there must have been some kind of accident huh so what do we do next let me see accident hmm I'm not I'm not sure if that's accurate or not but I mean it's it could be... Oh, I can store clips in my collection, apparently. Okay. Dude, all these videos? Seven interview sessions? They're only using 232 megs of local storage? Welcome to 1994. <laughs> <laughs> um, so that's all the clips that we can watch for Simon. What do you think a next good search term is? Like, what do we get to go on from all that? Should we search Helen? Do you think she's... Uh, yeah, let's, yeah, let's search Helen. Oops. There's only two. We watched the one, so this is a new one, I'm assuming, by this little symbol. I think he spoke to Helen. She said he was upset about her argument, but I'm not sure what else he said. Ooh, argument, huh? He likes Helen. He likes blondes. Wait, wait. She seems pretty open to the fact that they had an argument, so he talked to this blonde chick because he likes blondes. (laughs) Hmm. So is uh, jealousy a word we can type here? Uh, I mean, it might be. Let's see. Let's type in on this one, blondes, an argument. Because, uh, argument, argument. Um, let's see. Jealous or jealousy? Uh, does it do is a it, wild card search? Can we get I both? I have no idea. Let's start with jealous. Is that how you spell uh, jealous? No, that's not how you spell it. <laughs> <I am> jealous. <laughs> Uh, J-E-L-E-A-U-S. I'm drunk, so don't listen to me, but you know. <laughs> Damn it. No, Damn. Not... Where's the spell check button? <laughs> uh, jealous. God dang it, I can't. I don't know how to type jealous. How do I not know how to type the word jealous? That's, like, ridiculous. Uh, I, I'm actually Googling it. <laughs> J-E-A-L-O-U-S. A L O U S. Okay, I don't feel as bad. That's a weird word. It's not one you type often, hopefully. Oh, there's a one clip that says jealousy or jealous. Hannah was so smitten with Simon. She started getting jealous. Who's Hannah? Didn't want to share. Even the first date. I think we our next one. We at the old podium. We both went. Kept changing places in the toilet. We only had one best dress, so we had to keep swapping clothes. Must have thought we had terrible bladder problems. The next date, it was my turn. Um, At the end, I let him kiss me. But that was it. We didn't want another card on our hands, and the Ouija board had said to hold back. After that, it was Hannah's turn, and she slept with him. Broke the rules. Deliberately broke the rules. She wanted to be the first to sleep with him. <laughs> I mean, that's when she got pregnant. From that one time. So, <laughs> what? <laughs> there's a, there's a lot there. Wait, so they, 
she and Hannah, whoever Hannah is, were tag teaming this guy? And Tom Cruise? <laughs> no, Tom Cruise was mentioned. Wait, let me let me run this clip again. Hannah was so smitten with Simon. She started getting jealous. Didn't want to share. Even the first date. We went to see Tom Cruise at the old Odeon. We both went. Kept changing places in the toilet. We only had one best dress, so we had to keep swapping clothes. Must have thought we had terrible bladder problems. The next date, it was my turn. Um, at the end, I let him kiss me. But that was it. We didn't want another car on our hands, and the Ouija board had said... So... Is there a way to pause? Oh, so... Her and Hannah were swapping clothes. Are they twins? We don't know who Hannah is yet. Somebody who looks enough like her that they could just keep swapping clothes, though. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, I and think Hannah's... fighting over her husband or Simon, whoever Simon might be? Uh, I don't... Yeah, I don't know. I'm gonna search for Hannah. <laughs> uh, 18 clips. What that? <laughs> this clip looks bad. <laughs> just head down <laughs> on the table. Like... <laughs> H-A-N-N-E. Wait, is this the same Wait, chick? Is it is the same chick. Maybe it's the same backwards as forwards. It doesn't work from here, though. It's not quite symmetrical, but, well, we get the idea. Sorry. What? Hannah Smith. I live at 31 Gladstone Street. So they must be twins? Or she has multiple personalities? Yeah, it's, I mean, that's what it's got to be. And that makes me wonder, are these interviews then, are they all with the same person? Or are we hearing two different sides of this story? That's going to be confusing. It is. Um, so Hannah, I'm gonna, Hannah equals twin slash other person question mark i'm writing this stuff down <laughs> this is that's really weird she looks how i feel <laughs> when was this june late 30th. june Is that Morse code? That's a really good idea. It might be. I... Um, so... Do we need to write down dots and dashes on that? <laughs> <laughs> I can't imagine that the game would force us to know Morse code. Uh, I'm gonna put. I'm gonna type in case we need to come back to it later. Morse code is one of the tags. Um, but the thing is, I don't have any idea. Is was she the same person? Was she talking about her twin or this person that looks like her and what information she gave up, or was she talking about her like other personality and what information they gave up? But who is Eve? I don't know. Um, we got three more clips of Hannah, and then we'll find out about Eve. Oh, yes. she got a polygraph? My name is Hannah Smith. Oh, shit. Sorry. That's it? Wait, what? She's on a polygraph? She said her name is Hannah Smith. And then she said, then... oh, shit, sorry? So is her name not Hannah Smith? Um, so does she well, know that she's pretending to be two people? I have absolutely no idea. How would she know her name is something, but then realize it's not really that? <laughs> like... Yeah, she has to know that she's... But then why would she swap dresses? Who she's swapping dresses with? Oh, there's a million dollar question. Oh, I need more beer for this. <laughs> oh, God. I'm almost done my white. <laughs> oh, my Lord. Across the road, when my parents first lived there, 
was a midwife called Florence. When Hannah was born, I was born at the same time. The midwife was there to help. I'd been throttled by the cord, probably wrapped around my neck by Hannah. The midwife told my mother I was dead. But I wasn't. She wrote all this stuff in a diary. Amazing what people will admit to on paper. So I think we've solidified that they're twins. What the hell was or, that? Wait, but was that twins or was that multiple personalities? Because she said they were born at the same time, not moments apart. That's true. That's true. I was just thinking the fact that she said that the other one, she she assumes, quote unquote, the other one tried to wrap her cord around the neck. Did you see that, that vision just coming through the screen, though? No, I missed that. I wonder if it's because there was like there was like a silhouette of a person. You can see my mouse, right? Yeah, I can see your mouse. There was like a silhouette of a person that started to shine through right here, and then it like back to faded out. I was actually looking at my microphone to talk to you, so hmm. I do not know. I wonder. Wait, what happened? if I play this clip again and get to the, to the end, Amazing will it do it? People will admit to on paper. No, maybe I'm. The drunk one. <laughs> uh. mm, she recognized me from the window. She told me to come inside and she hit me. They had made the attic into a place where Hannah could play. It was a dollhouse. She hit me up there. No one else ever went into the attic. It was her place. Okay. Oh, did I see it? Wait, I'm sorry, what? Oh man, it just happened again! <laughs> <laughs> I did not see that. However, I am getting like every other frame or every like fourth frame. So well, and that's what I'm wondering if there's a lag delay that you're not seeing it over the screen share. I might not be. Um, but so crap. far this is rem reminding me of a Dean Koontz novel I read when I was young. Do, do we know who the murderer is then? <laughs> Does no. Dean Koontz tell us? <laughs> Uh, yeah, if Dean Koontz tells us, then, then the twin is the murderer. <laughs> so, wait, I'm, I'm curious real quick. This was the July 3rd. Mm -hmm. This is also July. So she gets on the polygraph at 1127, and at 1129, she's not on it? That seems unrealistic. Was that the very... Wait, they asked her her name, which she failed, and then two minutes later, she's not on the polygraph anymore? Oh, okay. is that the one where she said, "My name is Hannah Smith"? Oh shit, I'm sorry. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And then two minutes later, she's not on the polygraph. Hmm. That's weird. Um, so I got two more names. We got Eve from the first clip, and then we got Florence, who was the midwife. I'm not sure if that's important, but I wrote it down. But let's I'm look sure at Eve. We got five entries from Eve. One we've already seen. We only get five of the search return. Yeah, so it's weird because you, you, we got more, but you only have access to five of them, and there's no way to say give me more. So I'm assuming it's lumping the important ones. Do those hold on? Do those? Uh, oh do wait, I can icons work. Oh, see the where it says read me and then read me really. <laughs> rubbish bin. Oh, we can get to read me. Um, introduction to the Logic Database. Computer technology is back one of the modern police work. The Logic Database is one of many continuing efforts to digita di digitize our workflow and preserve evidence in the manner which will allow you to work more efficiently in the coming years. The computer will continue to be a more valuable item in your crime-fighting toolkit. This database contains footage transferred from the existing Homicide and Serious Crimes tape archives at Portsmouth. It has been automatically sorted using our ASR technology. Each statement made by the interview participant is stored separately so they can be triggered for submission to court. Or tagged for submission to court. The item has been digitally stenographed, or sten stenographed, and the content of the testimony is attached to each clip. To retrieve a clip, type in a word into the search field. Click search. So this is just how to read it. To store the clip for later reference, click add to session. Also, if you wish to add additional tags of your own to help future searches, please click the box user tags for any further assistance, blah, blah, blah. So that's just how to use it. But what's the really... 
Um, here's the database. I filed a freedom of information form to get you guest access. Everything seems to work. They transferred the videos off the original tapes in 1999, and then the Y2K thing hit, and they got mothballed. No one has touched them since. I couldn't find the server with the detective's footage on. Possibly those tapes got damaged when the old archives were flooded in 97. I figured it'd be enough of your time. Uh, what does that mean? Hack! Oh, okay. Did they hack the database? Cyber Ghost, you hacked it. Look, it's a person. It's a... Crack it's a with class. <laughs> <laughs> Is it? I, I have no idea. It's it might be. <laughs> uh, interesting. And there's a mirror. Oh, we can play a game. Oh, is that Othello? That's Othello. I can't click. <laughs> you cannot click, sir. <laughs> okay, enough games. That that's that is what we'll do when we get confused. Can I move this thing around? Oh, I can't. Oh, oh. database checker. So, so what's in a clock? clock then? Uh, one volume missing. Is that important? That looks like a. Um, you remember the old defrag screens? Yeah, yeah, that is what it looks like. Okay, so this is right now it is six sixteen of sixteen. Sixteen six of sixteen? And we're dude, we're in the future. We are. This is awesome. June sixteenth of this year. Sorry. Okay, so there's nothing else under there. I don't want to log off. Okay. Um We'll see if this is any what did I even search? Oh Eve. Oh. When she was a fan from when I was a kid, and she was always more popular with the boys, and I used to hate her for it. I mean, really hate her sometimes. So she was jealous of her friend Eve, who she's been friend with for a long time? Yeah, I wonder if it's, is it Hannah and Eve, or is Eve somebody completely different? And what's the name of the original wife? I don't know. Okay. <laughs> The, the, this person and that's where I, what's confusing is I was under the impression that these were interviews with the wife of this person who went missing and then was found out murdered found out to be murdered mm -hmm. but it almost does seem like we're getting testimony from two different people or whether it is two different people or two different personalities I, I'm not sure yes we'd fight we walked on the beach once, and I held Eve's head underwater. Oh there was no one else around. It was at the far end of the beach, and I held her head under, and I kept it under. And for a moment, I just wanted to kill her and watch her drown. But that was it. It was just a moment. We made up afterwards. <laughs> it was a love hate relationship. Um, interesting. I mean, I would, I would say it, if it is Eve and Hannah are the two different either people or personalities, that'd be hard to try to drown yourself. But at the same time, I did see the movie Fight Club. That's true. And much as in Fight Club, in this, neither of them drown for one reason or another that they can make up to themselves. Right. This game is trippy. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> A police station. Yeah. When I was young, we ran away on my birthday. Bob Dylan was playing in London and we thought we could break into his tour bus and have him take us with him. A taxi driver we paid to drop us off. I mean, we'd save money, pitch to get here and there to pay for the fare. He was suspicious because we were so young, so he told the police. So they came and picked us up and took me back to Portsmouth. My mum picked me up in the station. But I blamed everything on my friend Eve. So my parents sent me off. Okay, that's weird. 
Mm-hmm. So is this half a Hannah talking about Eve? I don't know. But well, I mean, obviously, it's somebody talking about Eve. And Eve can't be. Well, I can't say she can't be. I was gonna say Eve can't be her sister because she told her parents that it was Eve's fault, so they let her off. But that doesn't mean that she's not sisters. Nor does it not mean that it's not a s- alternate personality of hers that her parents know that she's like schizophrenic. Mm-hmm. Ah, <laughs> this is getting more confusing. And now we got this other chick. I'm a, Wait, the one that said she was Hannah. Is that not and, the same chick? With her hair down instead of up? I, I don't know. Okay. <laughs> it's the thing is, I don't know. My mother called me Eve. Oh. Okay. So I... Okay. Maybe that is Hannah. And her mother calls her Eve? I, I, I didn't get much else to go on in that set of clips. Should we watch that again? This one? Mm -hmm. My mother called me Eve. That's it? That's it? That's it? it. Um, I'm going to look up Florence just because that was one name I caught out of there. That was the midwife, apparently. Oh, God, there's a bunch of them. But only five, so there's no extra. Florence took me home with her. Mother hadn't been expecting twins and had a healthy baby. Oh. I guess she was just happy for Florence to clean up. Take away the evidence that this was anything but a happy occasion. Oh. Did you see that? I, I saw that silhouette that was like blue and red. Yeah, there was there was police sirens going on in the background at the same time. Mm-hmm. Um, what else I'm seeing is that whenever she refers to herself as Eve, her hair is up. But when her hair is down, she refers to herself as Helen? It's... Well, she referred to herself as Helen, but then caught it as a lie. Quote, unquote. But according to that clip, the mother had twins, but the mom only got one of them, and the midwife took one home, which is her. Okay. Whoever she is. But... So it is... That's how... That's what she implied. Florence raised me in her home. I never left it. She kept me out of sight. It wasn't odd for people to see a midwife with a baby, carrying in supplies, washing nappies, that sort of thing. I never knew any different. I grew up looking out of my window and seeing her across the road. I thought it was like a reflection in the mirror. She was me. Oh, that the silhouette is tripping me out. Why is there a silhouette? I only on see it every once in a while, but uh, it seems like she's seeing her twin, but not knowing that she's her twin, and she's confused by it. That's what she's sounding like. But at some point, she must know if she starts. They they go on a date where they're doing like swapping in the bathroom. That's right, they did do that. Can you imagine that? How cool would that be if you went on a date with some chick and it was really two chicks the whole time and you had no idea? <laughs> well, it might, must be awesome for the guy unless until you get mar- murdered. Yeah, until you get murdered. The, the murder part is not as fun. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> Florence was a warm, kind woman. Kind person. But she was broken, I guess. When I found her diary, I also found a biscuit tin with other stuff in it. All the papers, letters, that kind of thing. Her story was in there. Oh, her story. So I never really spoke to her about it. I was far too young to really understand, I guess. I just put it together later, once I was older. She had loved children. Plan to have a large family, but her husband died in the war. And that was back when you married for life. She never felt like she could marry again. Isn't that strange? 
She was a widow from her twenties. But, I mean, I guess it was different then. You know, you married for life and she felt she could never marry again. I guess it was harder, a war widow. One of the dead. I, I don't know, maybe there was more to it than that. I don't really know. <laughs> that was a lot. <laughs> um, so she's saying the midwife had her husband killed presumably during World War II? Yeah, their so husband... Is that much? Yeah, it, it's, it seems to be that way. And then she stayed single ever since, but then adopted or well, stole this baby? This twin? No. It was just me and her. It was the name they were going to call their first child. They talked about it and were going to try when it came back. Florence's family had a history of first-born girls, so they were convinced it was going to be a girl. It's hard to know if this is all true. These are stories I remember that I read when I was a child. Maybe I misread. Maybe I misunderstood. Sometimes it's not to remember what happened last week. Okay, wait a minute here. Didn't she mention earlier that they everything that they had talked about was just stories? Yeah, she definitely mentioned that in like the first video. One of the first videos. So is she making this stuff up from a book? And this isn't real? So is Simon imaginary? Is that what you're inferring? I, I, I'm not sure, but the, or the whole thing, even with Florence taking her in and her growing up across the street, I mean, she just said that, you know, she can't remember it. She, she read it when she was a child. I, mm, hmm. Now, Those unfortunately, were mm -hmm. well, my scratch pad has not gained any new information. <laughs> so we've still got Florence, Eve, Helen. Hannah. Oh, Hannah. Oh, e yeah, yeah, and Simon. Those are the five names that we've gotten out of this, unless you want to count Tom Cruise and Bob Dylan. Well, but I'll be, hopefully not. Maybe we should. Um... <laughs> I mean... Let, 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 let's look for Tom Cruise. Tom Cruise, it, see, there's more than one clip. Nope, just nope, the one. <laughs> we already watched it. How about Bob Dylan? Bob Dylan. Oops. No, how about David Bowie? <laughs> Bowie. <laughs> Did I mention that? Uh, she never talked about David Bowie. <laughs> <laughs> no, that was just the uh, the readme file. <laughs> um, dude, what, what could we possibly search right now? Well, there's been... Have we searched for twins or schizophrenia yet? We have not searched for twins. Let's look up schizophrenia first just because I bet it'll be less results and I gotta learn how to spell it. <laughs> S-C-H blank. <laughs> schizophrenia. Nope, no schizophrenia. Okay, twins? How about twins though? Twins probably has a lot. Oh, oh only four. Three new videos. Three new videos. Twins? <laughs> really? Are you really asking me that question? Okay, there's oh, that hey, creepy. I saw that. There he is. Ah. <laughs> uh. Are you out of your mind? Twins. Are these all from the same 14, 19, 38 seconds, 14, 19, 49 seconds? Why don't you just put those into one clip? <laughs> there were always princes and princesses. They were the special people, more important than the other characters in their stories. We knew we were like that. Twins. Magical. We were the princesses. We had a poster of Princess Diana from the newspaper. 
It's me. I had a pride of place. And underneath we used to put all our special things. When her engagement was announced, we were obsessed with everything she did. And later, when her life went so bad, we felt for her. Her divorce last year just kind of drew a line under things. What is she talking about? She's talking about Princess Diana. Well, Princess Di got engaged. Oh, I guess Di did did die after ninety four. Yeah, so she must have gotten divorced before then. But it's funny that the one person in blue is shocked that there's any talk about twins, whereas the chick in white is all about you know telling you the story about the twins. Right, and how they're princesses, and then tying it into Di? Yeah. Let's look at what about Princess Di. It's not. Uh, oh, we oh. got a new one. When beautiful people died, we always felt like it was a sign. You remember Princess Grace? Grace Kelly? She died in a car crash the year before we met Simon. We used a Ouija board to speak to her, and that gave us the power to find him. That's what we thought then. That people who die tragically leave some kind of magic behind. We used to share dreams. We used to wake up and write them down in our diaries immediately and compare them. Okay, so judging by the search term versus what just came up, we can have more of a wild card search, maybe? Because Princess Di was never mentioned. That Not by name. And wasn't Di, didn't she not have an E-D-I? She might not, yeah. D -I or Princess Di, I mean, Princess Diana would be... Uh, I think there's two ways. Oh, hey, we got a hit. Never we mind. got something. Yeah, we were 17. It was a nice wedding, people said. Simon looked very handsome in the photos. His parents paid for everything, but he's an only child, so it was important to them. It was what they called a shotgun wedding, but if you looked at the photos, you couldn't tell. The dress was beautiful. It looked like Princess Diana's. The train wasn't quite as long, though. There's a great photo of the bridesmaid helping to carry it out of the car. I mean, that gives us somewhere to go, though, because she talks about the wedding. That's true, and she talks about a shotgun wedding specifically, but you wouldn't know it from looking at the photos. Right. And she also talks about Simon. Have we su have we searched Simon? Oh, uh, yeah, that's like oh, we... 37 minutes or something. You know what? We can search the place that he worked, though. Ertz Brothers Glass? Uh, was that right? If that doesn't find anything, we can... Let me search for Simon again. It says it in, like, the first video. Simon. Simon Smith. He works at Ernst Brothers Glass. Ernst Brothers Glass. Uh, it's just that one video. Um, okay. How so about shotgun search glass? All right, shotgun wedding. Just shotgun that one wedding video. is just that one clip. We can look up glass. Oh, we, we got a lot of stuff about glass. No, he doesn't have any tattoos. He has a scar, but it's down here near his stomach, past his hip. Cut himself with some glass. That was before a long time. He looks just like the photo. Um, he's not got his glasses on here, though. He takes them off with the camera. But he needs them to see properly. You know, he has to read a newspaper or a menu in a restaurant. Not look so much. Or watching TV. He likes TV. Not books? Not books, but likes TV. But you... You... She said he doesn't need his glasses when he reads books, but he needs them for a magazine. 
this Simon guy. It wasn't the present so much. It was one of those arguments that had been simmering for a while. The present was a mirror, a nice mirror. He didn't grip the glass, the kind of mirror a princess would have in a story. They love princess, man. He made it especially for me. Okay. They're all about, like, this princess thing. Look, on his clothes, that would make sense. He made it by hand. I mean, he brushes the silver onto the glass. That's not how they make mirrors these days. I mean, he made the mirror. I mean, he gave it to me. Okay. There's, way, there's something about a mirror. No. I've had enough coffee for today, thanks. Glass of water. <laughs> that was not the glass that I was expecting. 